Hey y'all, welcome everybody to this final video on amino acids. I hope y'all are doing fine and well, and uh, we're gonna get right down into what this is all about. First off, I would like to say that, as you know, our main thing is growing large plants on your balcony uh, and in small places. And the following images are proof of that. We also want to show people the link between healthy living and longevity by showing them how to produce their own food. Because healthy plants make healthy people. Simple as that. And at the end of this presentation, we're going to have a little quiz. And there will, of course, be prizes to be won. Uh, but we'll get off into that later. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. In the last video, we discussed the role of amino acids and auxins uh, related to plant growth and development. And in this video, we're going to wrap things up with uh, what gibberlins have to contribute to plant growth and development. Gibberlins are one of the longest known classes of plant growth hormones that regulate various developmental processes, including stem elongation, germination, dormancy, flowering, flower development, leaf and fruit sequence. The highest concentration of cubolic acid is found in uh, developing peach seeds. Other plant sources include onion bulbs, spinach, and ferns. And there are at least 136 different uh, naturally occurring cubolic acid compounds that have been isolated from plants, ferns, and bacteria. Gibberlins have uh, striking growth promoting effects, and they are totally crazy. They are not only an amino acid, they are also growth regulators. They can even speed up the elongation process of dwarf varieties to a normal size and promote flowering, stem and root elongation, and increase fruit size. Did you know that farmers spray tons of cubolic acid on fruits and vegetables every year, every day to make them grow larger? And they are especially good for apples that make them grow big and fat. Did you also know that giblins are the number one go-to hormones for growing cannabis? It induces flowering and signals the plant to transition from a vegetative stage into a flowering stage. And as the concentration of giblins increase, it triggers the formation of four buds and initiates the flowering process. In uh, previous videos, I just casually uh, mentioned the amino acid cytokinin, but in honest, it would be almost impossible to discuss anything about giblins without mentioning this fantastic amino acid cytokinin. And as I've said previously, uh, if there would be a fourth top four amino acids, this would be the one. Why? Because the combination of these two top five uh, plant growth regulators uh, tell the whole story about how your buds, fruit, and veggies will grow and how large they are going to get. In short, giblins help plants to bulk up and increase in size while cytokinin increase fruit size, causing cell division, which is the main effect that a cytokinin have on plants. They are present in all uh, plant tissue, uh, but most abundantly in uh, root tips, shoot apex, and uh, immature seeds. Altogether, uh, there are five groups of plant growth regulating compounds which are important to plant growth, and they include auxins, gibberlins, cytokin, ethylene, and oxalic acid. And some of the plants containing these growth hormones would be spinach, for instance, oats, and onion bulbs. Of 
for certain everyday uh, type fruits and vegetables that we use contain higher amounts of natural growth hormones than others. Now I'm going to show you a way uh, to extract uh, these vital hormones from plants in general, uh, especially to get these two uh, plant growth regulating hormones the natural way. In the last video, I showed you how to extract nutrients from grain. And in this video, we will explore extracting nutrients from fresh vegetables. This method will work practically for all veggies. And since spinach, for instance, contains high amounts of gibbons, as well as silica, we will use spinach as an example. First, do a quick boil, uh, about a minute or so, but don't let it go much over one minute. We do a quick boil to activate the nutrients in the spinach for the fermentation process. Take 200 grams of fresh or frozen spinach and uh, cook it in one liter of water. Remove from heat and let it cool. Add one to two tablespoons of brown sugar and stir. Cover with a breathable top and let it sit in a dark place seven to 10 days and then strain. Use one to 1,000. That will be 10 milliliters uh, to 1,000 milliliters of water. So they have it. And I hope that this little information uh, enhances your knowledge uh, about amino acids and proteins and gibberlins and all of those good things that's going to make your plants grow bigger and stronger. Which brings us to that little quiz I was referring to earlier and uh, give you some information about the premier product that we're going to give to you. This is not a test or anything like that, just, we just want to give you something. But in order to get it, you have to answer a few questions. That's simple. And if you've been following our videos, then you will be able to answer these questions uh, with ease and of course win your prize. If you answer all questions correctly, then uh, you receive a 100 gram package of our premier product, Big Bang, uh, which is loaded with all five of the top plant growth regulating compounds, uh, which are important to plant growth. This multi-component supercharged 100% vegan fertilizer is guaranteed to increase plant growth exponentially. Because of the auxins and the gibberlins contained in this mixture, plants are given uh, that extra boost that they need to help them grow big and strong, as you can see in the video. It works fast uh, to provide your plants with the essential nutrients that they need. It also contains all nine essential amino acids and other important minerals that your plant also needs. So roughly after half an hour of time, uh, we're going to see exactly how these nutrients have broken down. So we put one liter of water in a jar and we add one tablespoon of Big Bang. So we're going to give it a little stir, make sure we mix it well so it'll have the uh, uh, opportunity to dissolve properly and then we're going to come back in half an hour. Because of the pre-digested nutrients contained in our new uh, and improved mixture, Big Bang is loaded with uh, organic molecules that play a dual role in supporting your plant's uh, health and growth. First, it is a natural soil booster, and second, it gives the plants what they deserve, a bio-vegan healthy ecosystem with supercharged supplements that are guaranteed to boost your plant's health and growth the natural way. So after about 30 minutes or so, we're going to stir it just a little bit, and then we're going to strain it. Big Bang can be used wet or dry used as a top dressing or as a root drench. And the benefits are increased nutrient intake, 
increased resistance to stress, abundance of plant yield, increased pollen and fertility, increased root production. And as you can see, just after 30 minutes, uh, soil saver uh, has been reduced from 100% uh, to approximately 50%, making it almost immediately available to your plants. And the proof of the pudding is in these two cups here. The cup on the left has one tablespoon of Big Bang in it. And the cup on the right is one tablespoon of Big Bang after soaking in water for approximately 30 minutes. Making it almost immediately available to all your plants. Which brings us now to our little quiz of the day. But unfortunately, we only have three prizes that are available to you, which means that there can only be three winners. But if you answer all three questions right, you could become the proud winner of uh, 100 grams of our premier top product, Big Bang. Just go to the description and check it out and you might be the big winner. And if you like this video, let us know. Just hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Ciao bello.